Hi everyone, welcome to BNP's Edu Corner. This math tutorial is all about solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Now, this equation is called the quadratic formula at ito ang gagamitin natin sa pagsosolve ng ating mga quadratic equations. Let's have some examples. Our given is x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Bago tayo mag-umpisa ng pagsosolve gamit ang quadratic formula, siguraduhin natin nasa standard form ang ating quadratic equation. And this time, ang ating given ay nasa standard form na. Now, ang susunod na step natin ay kuhanin ang values ng A, B, and C. So, ang value ng A sa ating given, kay dito makikita yon sa ating quadratic term, wala tayong numerical coefficient na nakikita. So, ibig sabihin, ang value ng A natin ay 1. Automatically, the value of A is 1. Next, value of B. Makikita yon sa ating linear term. Okay? So, the value of B here is negative 1. So, wala ulit tayo nakikitang number na katabi ng X. So, automatic, that is 1. And we have here a negative sign, so that is negative 1. Last, we have the value of C. Nandito yon sa ating constant term. And, ang value ng C natin ay negative 6. So, mayroon na tayong value ng A, which is 1, B, which is negative 1, and C, which is negative 6. Now, let's use the quadratic formula. We have X is equal to negative B, positive negative square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay magsa-substitute tayo ng values ng A, B, and C sa ating quadratic formula. And ito yung kalalabasan ng ating equation. Ipinalit natin yung mga values na nakuha natin dito sa ating given formula. Okay? So, nagkaroon tayo dito ng negative k okay, times negative 1. Bakit? Kasi we have here a negative sign, negative B. So, we have negative. Tapos, ano yung B natin? Negative 1. And then, positive negative. Square root of, okay, ano yung una? We have B squared. Kaya, meron tayong negative 1 squared. Because our B is negative 1. And then, minus 4. Okay, eto yon Minus 4 times A. Ano ang value ng A natin? 1. And ano yung value ng C? Negative 6. All over 2A. Ang A natin ulit is 1. So, that's 2 times 1. Ngayon na na-substitute na natin, isa simplify na natin ang ating nakuhang equation. Magiging ganito ang ating form ng equation kapag na-simplify. So, that's negative times negative 1. Answer is positive 1. Kopyahin lang natin yung plus minus sign. And then, sa loob ng square root sign, simplify natin. Ito muna. Negative 1 squared. So, that's negative 1 times negative 1. Answer is 1. Simplify natin itong kasunod na expression. So, we have here 4 times 1 times negative 6. Okay? So, 4 times 1, that's 4, times negative 6, we have negative 24, tapos i-times natin dito sa subtraction sign. Okay? So, negative 24 times the negative here, magkakaroon tayo ng positive 24. All over, 2 times 1, we have 2. Next natin is simplify natin yung nasa loob ng square root sign. So, 1 plus 24, that is 25. So, we have 1 plus minus square root of 25 all over 2. Simplify natin. What is the square root of 25? We now have 1 positive negative 5 all over 2. Okay? So, we have here positive 5 and negative 5. Isa-isahin natin yan. Una, we have x is equal to 1 plus 5 over 2. So, 1 plus 5, that is 6 over 2. 6 divided by 2, we have 3. So, we now have our first solution or root, which is 3. 
Next, kunin natin yung sa negative 5 naman. We have x is equal to 1 minus 5 all over 2. So, 1 minus 5, that is negative 4, divided by 2, answer is negative 2. So, our roots are 3 or negative 2. Okay, so dalawa, we have 3 at saka itong negative 2. Na kung tama, yung ating nakuhang solution or solutions, pwedeng-pwede natin i-check yan using substitution. This is our original equation. And ito yung ating roots na nakuha. Let's check. Gamit ang original equation, ipalit muna natin itong unang root natin, which is 3. So, dito sa mga variable, gagawin natin 3 ang ating mga variable. So, we now have 3 squared minus 3 minus 6 is equal to 0. Dapat itong side na to ng ating equation ay mag-equal to 0. So, that's 9. 3 squared, that's 9. Minus 3, minus 6. Combine natin ito, negative 3 and negative 6, we have negative 9. 9 minus 9, that is 0, which is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, tama yung ating unang root. Next, we have negative 2. Ipalit natin sa original. We have negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 6 is equal to 0. Simplify. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is 4. And then, negative times negative, we have positive 2 minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, simplify natin. 4 plus 2 minus 6, that is equal to 0. So, 0 is equal to 0. Tama rin ang ating pangalawang root, which is negative 2. That's it for our example number 1. Next example, we have 5x squared plus 6x is equal to negative 1. This time, ang ating given ay wala pa sa standard form. Aayusin muna natin ito, kuhanin muna natin ang standard form. Kailangan maging 0 ang nasa kabilang side ng ating equation. So, gagamit tayo na addition property of equality. Para maging 0 ang negative 1 dito, mag-add tayo ng 1 on both sides of the equation. Simplify, magiging 0 ang given natin dito. So, negative 1 plus 1, that is 0. And magkakaroon na tayo ng standard form ng ating quadratic equation. We have 5x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. Ready na tayong kuhanin ang values ng a, b, and c. Sa ating given, ang value ng a na nasa quadratic term ay 5. Ang value ng b na nasa linear term ay positive 6. At ang value ng c, which is the constant term, ay positive 1. Gamitin na natin ngayon ang ating quadratic formula. Okay? Substitution. Ito ang ating magiging equation. x is equal to negative. Okay? Kasi may negative yung b natin sa ating formula. Ano yung b? We have 6. Positive negative square root of b squared. Ang b ay 6, so 6 squared minus 4ac. 4 times a, which is 5, ang c natin ay 1. All over 2a. 2 times our a, which is 5. And then simplify. Pag simplify natin yung ating equation, we now have negative times 6, we have negative 6 plus, minus, or positive, negative, square root of 6 squared, that is 36. Next, we have 4 times 5. Answer is 20. Times 1, we have 20. Tapos yung negative sign or minus sign times negative, we have negative 20. Okay? All over 2 times 5, that is 10. Okay? So next, simplify natin itong nasa loob ng ating square root sign. Negative 6, positive negative square root of 16 because 36 minus 20, that is 16, all over 10. Now, get the square root of 16. It will become x is equal to negative 6, okay? Positive negative, the square root of 16 is 4, all over 10. Now, again, meron tayong dalawang values dito. We have a positive 4 and a negative 4. Isa-isahin natin yan. 
Unahin natin ang positive 4. We have negative 6. X is equal to negative 6 plus 4 over 10. So, negative 6 plus 4, that is negative 2 over 10. Lowest term, X is equal to negative 1 over 5. Next, gamitin naman natin yung negative 4. Negative 6 minus 4, that is negative 10 over 10. Simplify, divide natin. Answer is negative 1. So, meron tayong dalawang roots na nakuha. We have negative 1 fifth and negative 1. Okay? Now, let's check kung tama yung ating naging solutions or roots. Let's use the original equation which is 5x squared plus 6x is equal to negative 1. And our roots are negative 1 fifth or negative 1. Unahin natin si negative 1 fifth. I-check natin. Substitute sa mga variable. Okay, so magkakaroon tayo ng 5 times the square of negative 1 fifth plus 6 times negative 1 fifth is equal to negative 1. Pag in-square natin si negative 1 fifth, ang makukuha natin is 1 over 25. So, 5 times 1 over 25 minus, i-multiply natin itong 6, positive 6, kay negative 1 fifth, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 6 fifth. Okay? So, 5 times 1 over 25 minus 6 over 5 is equal to negative 1. Dapat mag-equal ito sa negative 1. Magkakaroon tayo ng 5 over 25. At kapag sinimplify natin yung 5 over 25, lowest term, magiging 1 fifth. So, 1 fifth minus 6 fifths is equal to negative 1. Since pareho sila ng denominator, okay, ang gagawin natin is isubtract natin yung kanyang numerators. So, 1 minus 6, that's negative 5. Over 5, simplify, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 1. So, that is equal to negative 1. Next, we have negative 1. Ipalit natin sa ating mga variable. Simplify natin ito. Negative 1 squared, that is 1. So, 5 times 1, we have 5. And then, 6 times negative 1, we have negative 6. Is equal to negative 1. 5 minus 6, we have negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. Ibig sabihin, tama ang mga roots na nakuha natin, which are negative 1 fifth at saka itong negative 1. So, there you have it. Yun ang ating mga examples in solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. We hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.